Celtics not expected to bring in Carmelo before training camp. So the Boston Celtics are not expected to sign Carmelo Anthony before training camp. Sources told Brian Robb of MassLive.com. I want your thoughts down below. Do you want him to be there? I'm here. The Nukes comes on the heels of reports last week that the team could consider signing Anthony to replace Daniel Gallinari. The Celtics reportedly want to give their internal replacements an opportunity to replace Gallinari. Rob adds that the Celtics aren't necessarily done shaping up the roster. Oh, man, we could just get a nice little hot I don't know why I did that. But either way, the Boston Celtics, like I, I made a video the other day talking about the Boston Celtics were allegedly looking into getting... Carmelo, and it's due to the fact that there's this quote from Gary Washburn of the Boston Globe, quote, this is starting to gain some traction because Carmelo Anthony may be the best shooting forward left on the market. He has shown to be productive offensively despite his age, end quote, writes Gary Washburn. As you guys know, Carmelo shot 37.5% from three on like five attempts from there on 13. And he scored 13.3 points off the bench last season. And he's been a good off the bench role player since joining Portland in 2020. And has been a solid three-point shooter. But we've talked about it before. You know, my fondue Cavangeli and Bruno Colocolo. Two guys who looked really good in summer league play could potentially make you know their case i mean bruno cavocolo for brazil has been a dog bruno cavocolo the man was two years away from being two years away was truly four years away from being four years away and he's finally arrived at six foot eleven with a seven foot seven wingspan a man at 230 pounds of pure muscle they also have no online who could also make you know contest the roster if you believe in J.D. Davison, I mean, Luke Cornett's there. Sam Hauser's there. You know, they can bring some guys there and there. They're probably just trying to figure this shit out and see if they feel like they can move forward without Carmelo. But more than likely, they're just trying to, you know, see the roster and basically... See if they really need Carmelo, which they do. Let's all agree. Like, why not get Carmelo? It seems like the interest is genuine on both sides. So, for me, it would just be preposterous not to get him. It would just be like stupid, you know? So, that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Would you guys get him, or are you going to be biased and just be like, oh, I don't care? I think he would be a good fit for them I also you know I think at this point it's just starting to get I feel like a broken record like I've said this stuff before but you feel what I'm saying it's just an interesting situation that they're going through because for me I I, I was just kind of intrigued by their lack of you know I thought, you know, they would have signed someone immediately after the injury happened, but nothing has happened. So, there you go. Like, you're good that they they feel confident that they can just play by ear and it's all going to work out. But I'm just genuinely curious, you know. So, for me, that was all. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys a dead judge the game video. Like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Till next time, guys. Put peace. Ooh. Ooh.